Right, hello. So, who am I? I'm Kelly Statham, and I was a police officer with Nottinghamshire Police for 12 years. Um, I started really young, at the age of 21. It was my dream job. That's all I ever wanted to do. Started as a response officer. I'm also a mother to two children, a two-year-old, a 12-year-old, and two stepchildren of um, 11 and 13 years old. So it's quite busy, hectic. I'm also a wife, a housewife, cook, a cleaner, property owner, and a business owner. Very hectic, very, very busy life. So that's behind me. So in my business, um, we're an estate agent, Ask Property. Um, we specialise in HMOs, um, which is House of Multiple Occupation. Um, problem solving for landlords, ensuring that they get the best out of their property. Um, dressing to make everything look absolutely fantastic. That is my work. I was very proud of that one. So, um, wasn't always my dream to do go into business. I believe that in life where our lives are mapped out for us and things lead you to where you want to go. Going back to when I was a police officer, um, didn't always have the best time. Two years, it's about a year and a half into being a police officer, I got caught pregnant. Um, it's a big no-no as you're a probationer. So my probation was extended. Um, everything was passed okay. Um, went back to work, was told that I couldn't work part-time. I had to work full-time. This caused me major, major stress because I'm tired. Never had my son, um, never had any family life and was constantly I was either working or sleeping. Um, so as you can imagine, he was three months old and I was working nights, days and afters. Wasn't allowed no shift work, um, no variation of shifts, so no days or afters. It felt like a bit of a failure, to be honest with you. Um, when Ashton was two, my eldest son, I then had a relationship breakdown. And then that whole year just came crashing down on me. So I'll go, I'll go into a bit more about why I'm here today. And you'll probably, a lot of police officers will understand that the job is probably not, they don't care. You're just a number, get on with it. They don't care about your personal life. And that's how I felt. Um, I suffered major, major mental health issues to the point where I remember driving to work and just wanting to crash into the bollards and just, die basically they made me feel worthless um, my mum had breast cancer at the same time as the separation um, going through solicitors for the house and the property um, Ashton was suspected of being diagnosed with leukemia thank god he wasn't and yeah everything you can imagine that went off in a year just plonked on me so but I was still told no you must work full time um, her words were get a living nanny, because it's that easy when you're on your own, but hey-ho. Um, so I went off sick with stress, and then I was targeted with the problem child. She's a problem police officer. But moving on, I got what I wanted, got moved closer to home, sort of my mental health out, um, and then became a little bit happier in the job, and actually, I was a bloody good police officer. By the end, I wasn't all these things that were telling me. But, I wasn't happy. I went home grumpy, negative, too tired, couldn't, didn't want to, um, you were just forever seeing everything on Facebook, what your family were doing. And then my husband gave me the opportunity to quit. Whew, how are we gonna quit? <laughs> it's a lot of money to lose. He didn't care, it was about my health. So we had, we was running um, Ask Property in the background at the time but we was losing money on that. We was probably spending £600 a month, which when you're losing a job, well, going away from a job and spending that amount of money, it's still a lot of money to be spending. So I got caught pregnant again. But this time, it was a good sign. Because Caitlin, my little girl, she kicked me into gear and made me think that actually I want to give back what Kevin gave to me. He gave me my life back. So I'm gonna progress our business into what it is today. So I turned everything around. Um, so going on to the income, before, before 
this, um, we was losing £600. So I'm at home with Caitlin Boards, scrolling through Facebook, shift to success, scorecard comes up. No, I'm no longer a police officer, but I thought, hey, yeah, they'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see. I'm, was I happy in the job? Um, turns out, no, I wasn't that happy, actually. So I um, got on a call with Alex, met with Alex. I didn't actually attend a shift, um, a, a start day. I knew what it's what I wanted there and then. My thought process at that time is if I'm spending £600 a month and losing that and I'm still, we're still doing nothing, I'm sure I can spend X amount and give it a go. So we was investing in ourselves. So that was April that all that happened. So when I first still joined here in April, I was still minus 600. I sat in the chair just there and we all wrote our, what we're going to achieve with a gut wrench, but feeling positive. Yes, I can do this. Oh, it's great because we're all in the same boat together. And everyone looked at me and thought, 120,000, is that girl crazy? I felt I was a bit crazy, but I thought, you know, re reach high and see where it gets us. So as it stands of today, so from April now is January, we're on 136,000. So smash that target. <laughs> Who'd have thought it, eh? So how has my life changed, my mindset? I was always negative. Um, really unhappy in the job. Now, a little bit crazy, someone said to me today. It seems like you've always had a drink because you're a bit bubbly. <laughs> um, family life, I'm always there for my family. You know, we can go to, I can book holidays, we can, I can go to the park, I can make time for them. Income, massively, massively changed. Um, as you know, time, I've got more time. Um, not so much to start off with because a lot of my time was focusing on the business, but now I've got a lot more time for myself, working out who am I, what, what it is that I want. So more time to just continue basically. And passion, my passion is what I do now. That's what I get up for. I don't dread getting up. I enjoy waking up. I don't even have to set an alarm. I get up early. You would never have got that in the police. So top tips for future cohorts. Just don't doubt it. Get your mind out of the box. As police officers, we always suspect things. We always suspect that, no, it's wrong, they're gonna rob me, it's a lot of money. It's just do it, because if you don't, you're always gonna be where you are. You are. If you're unhappy, the only person that can change it is yourself. Continue with the course, believe in yourself, reach out to, to your cohort members, and make sure that, you, you know, that you're there for other people as well, because you can't do it alone. It is, it is a group effort and you will do it. So thank you. I want to basically, I want to thank first and foremost, because without all of it, none of it, my life wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my husband, Kevin. So I want to thank him for his support and him believing in me, Alex and the mentors for everything that you do. But most importantly, you lot for being there and having a ball. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you.